Hello guys, welcome to episode four of Lionesses Daily. I'm here with Millie Bright and Rachel Daly. Hello guys. Hey. Hi. Can we call it the Rachel Daly? No. Run titles. <laughs> Welcome to the show, girls. Now, firstly, I want to ask you, Rachel, you're not wearing it, but Millie, you've got a necklace on that's a bit hidden. And I noticed that Lucy's had that on yesterday as well. Yeah. Do you all have the same one? Yeah, they're all the same. Um, it was a present from Phil. It's oh. got the England badge and then on the other side it says France 19. Oh. So. <laughs> I don't have mine on because when I'm in the sun, it gets hot and it hurts oh, my... Yeah. So I just, you know, it's next to my bed so I can see it every morning, every night. But it's a nice touch, isn't it? Very yeah, nice, yeah. Probably. So we had the opening game last night, France versus South Korea. What did you make of it? You know, I think France are always going to be, you know, it's always going to be a really good game. It's in their home country. Um, they're a phenomenal team. Uh, there's some great goals in there, uh, but it's just the start of, I think, what's, gonna, what's in store for everyone to see for the rest of us. Mm -hmm. The first game for you guys tomorrow. You must be so excited to get started, right? Yeah, we can't wait now, yeah. I think. Obviously, seeing the game last night and... The atmosphere there and the crowd and just just watching the game itself you know we're we're ready to get the kit on now and get out there and the day before a game how do you prepare so what does today's structure look like training this afternoon and then go over stuff that we need to you know final preparations for tomorrow and things that we need to get out there and um and then the rest is just sort of just getting your mind into the game really and how you prepare on your own yeah millie how will you be preparing tonight do you just like to completely chill out in your room yeah, we'll probably be paint. You'll probably, we'll probably be doing a game or something. Oh. Um, I thought you said paint. Paint. I was like, no. fair enough. We like to play a few games. Yeah, we have like little games, so we just yeah. chill. Probably go out for a coffee, um, maybe in the pool. Just ch walk, yeah, yeah, just chill a little bit, not in the sun too much, obviously, because yeah, yeah. don't want to be drained for tomorrow. You girls really like your coffee. I'm noticing yeah. this theme. Love a good There's coffee. There's a lot of players. Some nice love French European coffee here, though. It's very nice. Yeah. I'm actually not a fan of coffee. Weird, right? Conversation killer. I know, out, right? Out the, out the group. Miss <laughs> Damn, I thought I was in there. <laughs> right, we're going to jump to some questions from fans on Twitter. So, Daisy Passmore 6 says, what's the best part about being in Phil Neville's squad? <laughs> I sent him this last night and said, because he says embarrassing to us all the time. Um, no, he wants you to, he gives you confidence and he wants you to enjoy every minute and be happy playing football and just gives you confidence on the pitch and, you know, I think he's very equal, everyone's given an opportunity and yeah, it's just a good environment to be in and he, he really does believe in you and he's, he's a really good person. Yeah, I think he's, he's a really good communicator as well and I think girls need that. Um, you know, he, he lets you know where you're standing, are you okay, you know, do you understand this and I think that's really important coming into the women's game. Um, he's very good at that, he just keeps everyone sort of balanced and even kill, which is nice. Nice, and he gives you nice necklaces. I expect mine in the post, Phil. Uh, Jake Jackson <laughs> says, how do you mentally prepare yourself for each game? And also, he wishes you the very best for the Scotland game tomorrow. That's nice. Thank you. I don't really change the way I am ever, um, whether it's a friendly, whether it's a club okay. game or international game. It's, you know, I, I don't really have any superstitions. I just sort of stay and doing the usual thing that I do every day. Um, maybe change a little bit what I eat. Uh, but other than that, it's just sort of the same preparation as I do on a normal day. Remain cool. Um, Kyle Thornton, I like this one, says, question for Rachel, would you rather play against one big Millie Bright or ten mini Millies? <laughs> <laughs> What's a mini one look like? I know, I was thinking that. Right. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure, really. Probably ten mini ones. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it? Going against the big ones always hard, so... Ten, ten mini, mini Millies. millies. Uh, and that's Lydia, mouthful, Lydia yeah. Pasco says, are you watching Love Island? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, obviously. I've not started watching it yet. Oh, really? what's wrong with you? You're missing you? out. You're missing out. Yeah. It's a bit La boring at the start, though. Yeah, but last night was, was really good. We love the drama. So. Yeah. And she says, who's your favourite couple? We love Tommy and Tommy Fury, Molly, yeah. Molly May. Molly May, she's just arrived. Yeah, they both She's new. just, okay, she's new. I mean, yeah. they're ruining it for you here. Okay, yeah, yeah. spoiler yeah. alert. You're like, yeah. who's Molly May? Yeah. yeah, I've got no idea. Just wait. I might start watching it tonight. Um, also, I want to talk to you about your handshake. So you always have a handshake going on. I feel like sometimes it's longer than others. Do you add to it each time? We've What's changed the deal? it. We change it. Like, hey. If you feel like we want to stick with it or All add right. to it, we will. But yeah. yeah, we went for a new one. So. Yeah. How'd you come up with the moves? It's literally on the fly. Like We just oh, randomly no. did it and we were like, oh, that works. But yeah, it, it, yeah, I don't know. We had one, a bit of a base one that we did. It's in the moment, right. isn't it? Yeah. But now we've just sort of tweaked it a little bit. But it was kind of on the fly. 
So what's your one at the moment? What's your current handshake? Can you show it to us? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's oh very, the water's going special down. Moment, though. Uh, Millie, this is a special moment. It's my birthday. Oh! It oh. is actually my birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. So now it's a special yeah, moment. let's do it. Oh, that worked well, didn't it? Oh, I hope this goes well. No pressure, no pressure. So much pressure. Go. Cat, hold on, hold on. Can you? So this is an E for England, and you turn it down for winning. What? No, no, no. This in your middle fingers. Just cross them just over. Those. There we go. Turn it. To Not the too side. much. Just, just that. a light. And then you just pull that out when we go like that. So we go like this. Bang, bang tap, there. Tap, and then we pull bang. out. And then when we win, we're gonna go England win. win. Wow. England win. I don't know how I got to this position. I might have to keep it forever. Okay, so keep one <laughs> one thing we've okay. just learned <laughs> is I am bad at handshakes. Uh, here are five things you might not know about Jill Scott. Jill Scott, what a legend. Right, we've got a game for you. You've played this before. Let's take a look because you weren't so great at it. Um, she's around my age. She is a workhorse, always wins all the... Jordan No, always wins all the um, running things. Um, very witty pass. Let's hope that you can redeem yourselves this time. So this is Who's Who World Cup edition. You've got 30 seconds each. I'm going to be timekeeper. Oh, going to head off. Oh, it's going to get serious, guys. I'm a little bit nervous. Right, you ready? Three, two, one, Every go. Every second word is a swear word. Beth Mead. Yeah. Scouser, blonde. Alex Greenwood. No, other one. Tony Duggan. Yes. God, I'm doing so well. Uh, the funniest person here, Tom. Jill Scott. Yeah. Was on Lioness's Daily yesterday. Lucy Bronze. No. Nope. Lucy Stanford. Yep. Good thing. Lizard. Karen Carney. Um, so hard in a tackle. Unbelievable uh, for uh, place for Reading. <laughs> when I say that. Jade Moore. Yep. Uh, goal Stop. Keeper. Oh, good going that. Six. That was decent. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. All right. Let me set. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Plays in this country. Lucy. Yep. Uh, little magician. Super. Fran. Yep. Uh, midfielder, baller, holding mid. Kira. Yep. <laughs> Plays in the 10, shoots from anywhere. Dodger Samway. Yep. Um, best left foot in the team. Alex Greenwood. Yep. Centre back, DJ. Leah. Yep. Embarrassing. Phil. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> okay, well done. Awesome. Millie, if you head back to your seat, well done. You definitely redeemed yourselves Thank there. You. Good job, nice one. That's good, that. Yeah. Well done. Right, throughout the tournament here on Lionesses Daily, we're giving you guys the chance to win amazing prizes thanks to the Lionesses Supporters Club. So first up is a chance to go pitch side to watch the Lionesses warm up ahead of the game at Wembley in November. There will be three winners, yeah, three winners. Each one can take a friend. All you've got to do to enter is go to the link on the screen right now and answer a very simple question. And we'll announce the winners ahead of the game tomorrow against Scotland. So good luck. Right, girls, we're going to get serious for a minute, OK? Oh, oh yeah. Well, Scotland, OK, tomorrow. Now, when you play them, the opening game in the Euros, we beat them 6-0. But it's not going to be that easy tomorrow, is it? No, it's going to be a complete different game to the Euros. So, although we had a lot of uh, success in that game, I think you take the positives out of it and obviously what worked well. But again, we're a different team from that mm -hmm. game as well. Um, so it's kind of like a clean slate and obviously it's the first game for both teams in the tournament so it's 
yeah, it's getting all the excitement out and, and all the hype, really, but, yeah, it's going to be completely different. And who are the ones to watch in the Scotland side? Because they have some really good players, don't they? Yeah, I think, obviously, the WSL, like, Millie and the girls will know them a little bit more, but I think you've always got to be wary of Kim Little and, you know, Erin Cuthbert is probably one of the biggest players you want to watch out for in the World Cup. So mm. they've definitely got some very good individuals, but as a collective, they've, they've done really well over the past mm. few games. So... Uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a tough game, but one that we're ready and raring to go for. Yeah, and what's Phil said to you ahead of kickoff? Has he given you any great words of advice? Um, just to make sure that you've done everything as an individual to be best prepared for the game and obviously be sensible and like the heat and stuff out here. Um, but yeah, like Rachel said, it's just it's just another game for us, and yeah, it's a big game, but we we stay calm and composed and just make sure we know our roles and, and make sure we go out there and get the job done. Mm -hmm. And Rachel, uh, you were told that once that you might not ever play for England. How does it feel for you then to be here at the World Cup? Yeah, it's a dream come true. I mean, this is what you work for every day. I said this before, you know, if you don't want to be here, then I don't know why you play football yeah. for me, you know, and that was my mo like my motivation. And I use it every day is, you know, this is where I want to be. I want to be getting on that plane to France. And that's the thing that I wanted to work for and be here with this special team of players and staff. Um, so it's, it's unbelievable to be here now. And, you know, it's sort of a dream come true for me. I mean, I was totally listening to you, but there's also so many planes flying above us as all the fans come in to watch Boeing you guys. 747. <laughs> the technical term. Uh, right, thank you so much for coming on the show. Before we let you head off to prepare for tomorrow, we have the FIFA Women's World Cup France 2019 official sticker collection by Panini here. And would you guys do us the honour of signing your stickers? Yeah. yeah, I'm not in there, but I will Okay, sign. I was hoping you would say that, Rachel Daly, because this is a special one. We have all 23 players. Oh, wow. Take a look. Let's yeah. Go. Oh, that worked so well. So well. I have your stickers in my pocket. So, Rachel, here Let's you see. go. Ooh. There you are. Oh, wowzers. There, there you go. Huge. Right, so if you can oh, sign that for us. And whilst they do that, here is Arsenal's Leah Williamson. And if you haven't already worked it out, our girls want to win this very badly. Leah Williamson, I'm a lioness. To be a lioness means the world to me um, since the World Cup in Canada four years ago. Um, that's what I set my set my sights on and all I've ever wanted to do is be a part of this team so um, yeah it, it's everything to me. I wouldn't be here without my family and I would have you know there's times when I when I maybe thought I needed to stop or I wanted to stop and their love for the game and their love for seeing me as happy as I am when I'm on the pitch is, is what's sort of spurred me to carry on and, and I wouldn't wouldn't give it up for the for the world now um, so I owe it all to them. The message to my family would be thank you and I want them to enjoy it as much as I do. I want nothing more than to all celebrate together um, when I have successes and and they're my go-to when, when I have fa failure. So I think I want to say thanks. They've never ever given up on me. They've never ever stood in my way. I've only ever received anything but support from them and I can't be can't be more thankful because um, I think I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Right, thank you both so much. Now, just before you go, can you give the fans a quick message who will be watching tomorrow and also here in Nice? Thank you for your messages uh, and your support already. We hope that you continue to support us and we're going to go out there and hopefully get the win for you on Sunday. Yeah, just to echo that, you know, I think you know, your support for us, it, it doesn't go unnoticed and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an unbelievable support back home and, you know, we see everything that you say. So just keep supporting us, get behind us and let's hope we bring back gold. Awesome. Woo! Well, <laughs> woo. Uh, good luck. We'll see you back here at an earlier time tomorrow at 3pm. See you then.